Steve, crowds, laughter, song. I adore New Year's Eve. It's so gay. <laughs> well, it ain't gonna be for me. Why don't you and the little woman drop in at my house tonight? We'll have oodles of fun. No, I, I don't think I can make it. Oh, you must. I'll send my car for you. There's loads of room. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I've seen your car. <laughs> and don't worry. I'll bring you back. If I was going to your place, I'd rather walk. But, uh, I I'm tied up tonight, Jake. Oh, I too bad. But anyway, I'll hand you a laugh. All right. Have you heard the latest? Uh -huh. Husband, I just had a tooth pulled. It cost me a dollar. Wife, what kind of a tooth? Husband, a buck tooth. <laughs> Isn't it a scream? Yeah, uh, hilarious. Here you go, Riley. See you in church. Bye, <laughs> So you see, Waldo, instead of one soldier, a whole company is coming. That's why I need dishes. Lots of dishes, Waldo. Oh, I wish I could help you, Mr. Riley. <laughs> Well, your wife has two sets of dishes. Go and ask her to lend them to me. Huh? Oh, I you... couldn't do that. She's furious with me because of what happened on Christmas morning. Oh? She opened the present that I got for our great Dane dog by mistake. <laughs> she thought it was for her. When she read the card inside, she was fit to be tied. Well, what did the card say? Well, it said, Baby dear, to buy you a fitting gift for me was quite a puzzle. So I bought the thing that you need most. Enclosed, you'll find a muzzle. <laughs> well, Waldo, I I've seen your wife. It was a natural mistake. <laughs> Waldo, I I'm going to ask your wife for them dishes. Oh, Mr. Riley, she wouldn't let you in the house. She says you're a bad influence on me. Huh? You see, she found out about that night when we... Uh, what night? Well, uh, you know that night... Uh, Oh, oh, that night. <laughs> oh, so what? What harm was it if I did let you take a puff on my pipe? <laughs> There's no tobacco in it. <laughs> I'm sure she'll never let you have the dishes, though. Oh, well, I guess I'm late. Oh, maybe Luigi can let me have some dishes. I, I gotta see him about getting more food anyway. So long, Waldo. <laughs> Hello, Luigi. Ah, Mr. Riley, how do you do it? I'm just fixing you hamburger for the party. I'm glad you've come in. Here, tell me, how you like your hamburger? With garlic, salt, paprika, onion, and pepper? Or you like it seasoned? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, you fix it, Luigi. Uh, look, Luigi, uh, about the party, I I I'm a little bit worried. I I'm going to need some more hamburger. Eh, don't you worry, Luigi. She's a fixer you up. Five pounds is not enough. No. Ah, you need more, huh? Well, a little more. How yeah. much? 200 pounds. Sure, I give you. But my good friend, Mr. Riley, do, do what? 200 pounds. Now, 200 now, now, pounds. Now, Luigi, now, now take it easy. Put down that paper, Luigi. 200 pounds of hamburger. Go find yourself a balcony. You're crazy like a Mussolini. Now, <laughs> Now, look, Luigi, I ain't. You see, in, in, instead of one soldier, 200 are coming to my party. That's why I need 200 pounds. Where am I going to get? That's the thing you see in the yard that she's no cow. That's uh, my wife's sister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, Luigi, you always have a lot of hamburger for meatballs. Sure, you... sure, I got, I got the what I'm going to eat. It's for a banquette here tonight. The Architecture Society. They reserve six weeks in advance. I know, but Luigi, it's not for me. It's for the army. You... I know, I know. Don't you get me wrong. I love the army. I love General Eisenhower. I love you. Believe me, I do anything for you, Riley. I would cut off your right arm for me. <laughs> but to no hamburger. <laughs> Uh, 
thing. I went everywhere. Even my own friends wouldn't help me. Oh, dear, this is dreadful. Those 200 soldiers will be here any minute. Yeah. How will we feed them? Well, we'll just have to open up that can of sardines and jump back out of the way. <laughs> oh, Riley, you'll have to think of something. I've been thinking that. Peg, you know that trip back east I've been planning to make all these years? I think this is the time to make it. Oh, be sensible, Riley. Well, we can't... Well, hey, it's them. Oh. I ain't home. I... I, I uh, uh, Waldo. Uh, Mr. Riley, my wife says you can have the dishes. You... What? Waldo! Waldo, you're a pal. Yeah. I told her it was for the soldiers. And that broke her down, huh? Do you know what she did? No. She threw her arms around me and gave me a big kiss for the first time in eight years. <laughs> and you know, that made me stop and think. Think what? What a heck of a way to start the new year. <laughs> I wonder who's... Happy New Year, everybody! Uh... Luigi, you got your nerve saying Happy New Year to me. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, O'Reilly. Keep your skirt on. And give me a hand to bring in the stuff. Outside my truck, I got a 200-pound hamburger, 800 rolls, 3,000 miles of spaghetti, one wife, seven bambinos, and a half a jar of mustard. <laughs> oh, Luigi, that's wonderful. But, but, Luigi, you said I that... know, I know, but when I think of the soldier boys and she's going to be hungry, I'm going to get the conscience of chicken. My heart, my heart, she's like a my sponge cake. Very soft. Ah, oh, Luigi, you saved my life. But, but what about the architects? I'm a cancel the banquet. I'm a say to them, if you're such a good architect, make other plans. <laughs> you better get to work, Luigi. Oh, come on, Riley, Waldo, you yeah, help. Yeah, well, we'll... Uh, oh, uh... Hello. Uh, Mr. Riley, this is Colonel Rogers. Oh, hello, Colonel. Mr. Riley, I've just heard some disappointing news. It ain't true. We got plenty of hamburger. The boys won't go hungry. I know that, Mr. Riley, but I'm sorry that my men will be unable to accept your hospitality. You mean they ain't coming? But, Colonel, I got a ton of food on my hands. I'll get indigestion, Colonel. I... <laughs> I'm very sorry to disappoint you, but at the last moment, a special order just came through. We have to move on. Our train leaves at midnight. But, Colonel, how can you go tonight? It's New Year's Eve. The railroads keep saying you shouldn't travel on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Riley, we're soldiers. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Well, well, gee, we'll all be disappointed. So will we. Well, goodbye, Mr. Riley. Goodbye. Party's off. Oh. The soldiers got to move on tonight. They're, they're on their way to the station now. That's too bad. Yeah. Oh, I bet they'll be disappointed. Uh, yeah. uh, just a minute, sir. Why for should they be disappointed, huh? They don't can come to the party. We bring the party to them. I got everything in the truck. We cook the stuff in the station, huh? Well, <laughs> Luigi, of course, that's has a wonderful uh, idea. Yeah, you're a genius, Luigi. Come on, everybody. Let's go down to the Santa Fe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, fellas, step up and get your hamburgers. Who wants another hamburger? Yeah, like another one you step right up, boys. Here you are, kid. Yeah. Luigi. Hey, Luigi, more hamburgers. Oh, shoo, shoo. Coming right up, boy, Luigi. Oh, my. Here's some more rolls, Riley. Oh, thanks, Peg. Is, is everybody getting enough to eat? Oh, more than enough. It's a lovely party. <laughs> it sure is. Another it's taste of soda pop, oh, Mr. Riley. Oh, Waldo. Put it down. Waldo. Huh? Waldo, you'll ruin your suit. Why don't you wear your apron? Waldo? Oh, no. I better not. It might remind the boys of the girls they're leaving behind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hiya, Riley. Boy, this is a great party. Well, hiya, Sarge. You, you had enough to eat? Now, give me another hamburger. Okay, kid. How do you want it? Well, I already had one with ketchup, one with mustard, one with mayonnaise, and one naked. Well, <laughs> then I'll give you the Riley special. One hamburger between two other hamburgers, huh? Hey, you kid. Oh, boy, thanks. Well, I got to round up the men. We're leaving soon. And thanks for everything. This has been a swell party. So long, Riley. So long, Sarge. Oh, uh, Mr. Riley. Oh. oh, hello, Colonel Rogers. How you doing? Fine, Mr. Riley. The men are having a great time. We certainly appreciate what you're doing. Well, 
we appreciate what you're doing. Uh, uh, oh, Colonel, I I'll give you a laugh. You can tell General Eisenhower. I it's a joke. My friend Digger Odell told me. It goes like this. Husband, I just had a buck tooth pulled. <laughs> Wife, did it hurt much? Husband, I'll say mother-in-law serves you right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very amusing, yes. Company! Attention! Well, we've got to get aboard now, Mr. Riley. Goodbye, and thank you. Goodbye, Colonel, and good luck to you wherever you're going. Huh? There they go, Peg. Yes. Aren't they fine boys? Yeah. And there's 10 million of them, all trying to make sure that next year will be a happier one for the whole world. Look at the clock, Peg. In exactly five seconds, it'll be 12 o'clock. Oh, four! Four seconds. Three, two, one. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! in just a moment. What do those new point values on meat mean to you and the eaters at your house? Well, the American Meat Institute believes a quick reminder of some of the current point bargains in meat will be helpful to you. First, on beef, most of those good braising and stewing cuts like short ribs, brisket, and shank cost one or two points. Chuck for a pot roast, three points. Hamburger, four points. On the pork list, you will find shoulder cuts at four points. All variety meats, except veal and beef liver, are still point-free. In the sausage list, frankfurters are three points a pound, good fresh pork sausage is two or three points, and that good liver sausage is point-free. Now, you will want to make your own careful check on point bargains in meat you like, because that's the way to keep meat on the table. It's worthwhile to learn how to make your points by more pounds, because all meat regardless of cut or kind, price or points, has those complete, highest quality proteins that we all need. Yes, meat is a yardstick of protein foods because meat measures up to every protein need. This statement and all other nutritional statements about meat made on this program are accepted by the Council on Foods and Nutrition of the American Medical Association. <laughs> Daddy, read your poems. Well, well, uh, okay. Of course, I, I ain't no Henry Wadsworth Rockefeller, but <laughs> anyway, I, I made this poem up out of my own head, and it's got a couple of concrete ideas. <laughs> uh, here's to 1945. Here's hoping all of us will thrive. A happy new year to my wife, the senior partner of my life. Greetings, too, to son and daughter. I hope they won't do what they shouldn't order. <laughs> May life be gay for Digger Odell, who gives you flowers when you can't smell. <laughs> to little Waldo, love and kisses. He'd like to be married, but not to his missus. <laughs> we promise all to work and fight, to win the war and square things right. And to all our GIs, wherever you roam, May this year see you safe back home. Don't miss The Life of Riley, starring William Bendix and presented by the American Meat Institute next week at the same time. Riley's son enters a boxing...